Are you wondering what the best ideas are for you to be able to show up on YouTube, create videos that get views and actually grow your channel? You're gonna wanna watch this video. I'm gonna give you my exact strategy to coming up with the best ideas that are not only gonna get me views, but actually grow my channel and grow my income as a result. And also be sure to subscribe and stick around because the whole month of May, we're gonna be doing videos on how to grow on YouTube. And beyond that, we'll be incorporating videos on how to grow on YouTube. So be sure to subscribe for more videos every Tuesday. The first thing that I like to think about when I'm trying to come up with video ideas for my YouTube channel is considering my target audience. What are the things that they are searching for? What are the things that they are wondering about? What are the questions that they are asking themselves? What are the quick wins that I can give them in a YouTube video like this one? A lot of the videos on my channel are either sit down videos just like this one, or they are a visual tutorial of how to do something on a program. Because a lot of people in my target audience are business owners. And so they're trying to figure out how to use different programs and different social media apps. So I come up with tutorials and visual tutorials on how to do certain things. I also think, think this is important, especially when we think about how we want to grow our business on YouTube. If you have an existing business or brand or products or services that you want to use YouTube to help generate income towards, you need to make sure that your videos make sense for that, right? And that you're creating videos for your target audience and your ideal client. Some really easy ways you can think about video ideas is simply look at like what comments you're getting on your current YouTube videos where you can create more videos based on that. What kind of emails or DMs or comments comments otherwise like in other places you get from your ideal client and things that they're asking and questions that they're asking you. What are things when you sit down one-on-one -on -one with your ideal client if you're like a coach or you do one-on-one -on -one sessions? What are things and topics that are being brought up that you can easily put into a YouTube video and serve your ideal client that way? The second way that I find ideas that specifically is going to grow my channel faster especially if you're already making videos is to look at your analytics. You need to make sure you're doing this at least on a monthly basis. It seriously will be a game changer for you when it comes to you grow on your YouTube channel because you can almost hack the way that your YouTube channel is growing and create videos around certain topics that is already growing for you and may essentially make your content more bingeable and tell YouTube like, hey, I want to create more content like this. So keep pushing my channel out. So this can be as simple as looking at what is performing well for you this month, what is not performing well as far as views and even engagement and comments from your current audience. But there are also two other ways that I like to look at my analytics. And first is looking at what are some videos that are essentially popping off? Like what are videos that are starting to gain traction and to generate views that I can then hop on and create more videos on that same topic within that category, right? So for example, back when I was growing my YouTube channel, I started noticing that any video I was creating around the topic of Instagram was doing really well and resonating really well with my audience. So I started creating more videos around that topic because those videos were popping off for me. And then when Instagram Reels came out, I created a video on Instagram Reels that did really, really well and really started to explode my channel. And so I started creating more and more videos just around Instagram reels. The second way that I like to look at my analytics is looking at are there any search terms that are being searched where my channel and my videos are coming up in that search, but I don't actually have a video on that topic. For example, I started noticing that the search term Instagram Reels adding text, like how to add text to Instagram Reels was coming up. My videos were being commonly shown to people searching that topic, but I didn't have a video on how to add text to Instagram Reels. I had a full Instagram Reels tutorial, but I didn't have a video specifically on that one thing. So I decided to create a video on that one thing, how to add text to reels, a really simple, I think it was like three minutes long, like really short, but it did really well on my channel and really helped me to grow my subscribers on YouTube by jumping on that search term. So essentially the idea behind that is how can you serve the people that are finding you on YouTube with certain search terms and things that they are looking for by giving them that specific content because maybe it's not available or maybe, you know, you don't have a specific video, but they're finding your videos helpful. How much more helpful they're going to find your videos if it's you do have a video on that certain topic that they are searching for. The third way that I like to come up with ideas for my YouTube videos that are not only going to give views but actually make an impact for my brand is to think about what videos are naturally going to lead to sales for me or to new leads for me. And so when I'm thinking about that, I am thinking about, for example, I remember back when I was creating videos on Reels 
reels and doing a lot of reels videos because that was doing really well for me, I was thinking to myself, okay, like if I'm actually going to use YouTube to grow my business, I'm a digital education company, like I create education for business owners. I knew that down the road, I might wanna create a course on reels or sell products on reels. And so I created a video how to design a reels cover photo template because that was a big topic that was being searched a lot and some people needed education on that. I created a free download for a few reels cover photo templates someone could use to then follow along in that video to create their cover photos for free free, but in turn, that was turning people and getting them onto my email list. So I was thinking ahead of time too of like, okay, I know I want to sell to them eventually. I eventually had a paid Reels Cover Photo templates people could upgrade to. I had a course people could buy, right? And so thinking long term, like what's going to make this sustainable is making sure I'm getting people onto my email list. And so it was something that was being searched for, but something that could also naturally lead to a product, service, freebie, something along those lines that's going to make an impact impact for my business. So I like to think about this in terms of like, you can do this so many different ways. It depends on your brand or business and what you are trying to do and what your goal is on YouTube. You can do it for services, for digital products, for physical products. You can do it for affiliate income, create an entire video surrounding like a program or something that you use and create a review of that thing, but it's an affiliate link if someone signs up with it, right? And so there's really a lot of different ways, a lot of different directions you can go with it. You could also, again, like I mentioned, do email list building by incorporating a freebie. We actually incorporate a freebie into most of our videos. And actually, the freebie I want to share with you in this video is titled My Exact Formula to Making Money on YouTube. So if that's something that interests you, it's essentially a step-by-step -step formula on how I make money from YouTube videos and what that looks like and how to set that up for yourself. So if you want to dive deeper into this topic beyond just what ideas to do, be sure to head to the link in the description. It's right below this video and you can tap on that link and get it instantly. The fourth way to come up with video ideas that are actually going to get you views is TubeBuddy. This is an incredible program. We will have a link in the description if you are interested in checking it out. It's awesome. They have free versions, I believe, and also paid versions. We do the paid version because we use it so often, but essentially you're able to search in YouTube, like different search keywords, and you're able to see like how they would, like how well and easily you could rank a video for your account in that keyword search. So when we're thinking about getting views on videos. There's a couple main ways. I guess I should have prefaced this whole video saying this, but if you've stuck around this long, you're in for a treat. So if you are trying to get more views, essentially the main two main ways is to think about search driven keywords and terms and titles. Like what is someone going to search in YouTube to come across your video, right? Like making sure you have videos that are searchable, but also on the YouTube homepage because YouTube will suggest videos to different people if they think that they're going to like your content. So there's a lot there that goes into that, but when it comes to being found in search, that's really a big way that I've been found on YouTube. And TubeBuddy is where I run all of my ideas for searchable titles and searchable videos past because it will tell you how easily you're going to be able to get ranked, get your video ranked if you create a video for that title or keyword or search or whatever you're trying to rank for. There's actually like a measuring like metric where it will tell you on a scale from zero to a hundred, like how much competition there is for that keyword essentially how many videos are competing to be seen in that search term and then how often it's being searched. So whenever you find that golden search keywords where like there is a video where there is a topic that is being searched a lot, but there's low competition, those are the ones that you really want to go for. If you guys want a whole video on TubeBuddy and like a tutorial on how it works, how we use it, I don't think we've ever done that. So be sure to let us know and we can be sure to do that. Let us know in the comments if you would like a video on that. And if you want to sign up and try it out for yourself. The link for TubeBuddy will be right below in the description as well. Okay, so the fifth way that I find view, like video ideas that actually get me views and help grow my channel is looking at what's working for others. Okay, and I want to say this with a caveat, like don't get caught up in this and don't watch the videos, okay? Like look at this purely from an objective standpoint and from a more like you're just researching and seeing what's working, but I don't want you to be copying anyone here. And what I mean by this is when you think about what's working for others, look at other channels that are in your same topic, in your same niche, essentially who are your competitors? Look at what's working for them. Specifically, like if you can see what videos, when you go to their channel, look at what's popular on their channel, 
what videos in the past like year I, or the most recent videos have done really well for them that maybe you're in that top 12 section. What videos are performing well on their channel? And if it's performing well on their channel, that can help you to brainstorm and to think of ideas for your channel that might also perform well and give you some insight into what maybe your ideal client is searching for that you're able to also use that as like research, right? And just see like what is working. There might be ideas there that or helps you to spur ideas and spur topics within your niche that you might otherwise not have thought to do. Again, take this with a grain of salt. Basically, like don't take this and just copy what other people are doing. Look at multiple different channels, get a really good overarching picture. I personally don't watch the videos. I'm just paying attention to like what are the titles of the videos, the topics of the videos. I don't want to watch the video for it to influence my content at all and making sure my content has integrity and is truly content that I am creating, but it can truly be a helpful part in that research process of finding ideas that are going to work well for you. All right, and then the sixth way to finding ideas that will actually get views is to simply have a brainstorming session, especially after you've done those first five ways. Sit down and just brainstorm like different topic ideas in your niche, different topics you can cover, subtopics you can cover, even making sure like, for example, like when I talked about doing that full Instagram Reels tutorial, noticing that people wanted a tutorial just on how to add text, they didn't need the whole thing. Like you think about what are some subtopics you can create videos on, even if they are shorter videos that might potentially reach people in search or other ways that are going to help bring people to your channel, right? And so thinking about those things too, and just brainstorming and giving yourself like even 30 minutes to just think of as many topic ideas as you can, can really help to come up with video ideas that you might otherwise not have thought of. Think like what are sit down videos you can do? What are visual videos you can do? Is there anything more vlog or behind the scenes style that you can do for your channel? Is there any other topics within your niche that as it relates to a video you've already created that you could create and just see how they perform, right? Especially if it's a video that's done well. Be sure to have some time to brainstorm that's really gonna help you and I know it's helped me a ton when I'm trying to come up with a video ideas is to simply carve out that time to brainstorm and a lot of times actually putting pen to paper helps me a lot. If you haven't downloaded that freebie yet, I really encourage you to do that on getting my exact formula to making money on YouTube. So essentially inside of that free ebook, I'm giving you my exact steps to how I'm creating my videos so that I can generate income in my business, selling digital products, selling online courses, doing affiliate income, YouTube AdSense, like what are the different things that you need to keep in mind to actually make YouTube impactful. And I started seeing re consistent revenue from YouTube way back when, oh my goodness, it was like over two years ago now. I think I had around 10,000 subscribers when I started generating close to $2,000 a month from YouTube AdSense revenue. Not long after that, I started generating thousands of dollars from email list leads and signups and upselling those signups to different products and offers. So be sure to download that freebie if you're interested. Like how does all of that work? How did you set all of this up to do that even when you didn't have a ton of subscribers? So be sure to do that. Subscribers truly don't matter. You can get started with YouTube today and start seeing results very, very quickly if you do it right. So make sure you grab that. Be sure to also subscribe to the channel. Like I mentioned, if you are not new around here, we this month for the month of May, we decided to do something fun. And I believe there's five videos we're going to be creating because there's five Tuesdays and every video is going to be about how to grow on YouTube and growing a YouTube channel. Cause it's something that you guys have wanted to hear a lot more about. We just haven't created a lot of videos on because we focus so much on how to grow on Instagram, which we love doing, but we're excited to dive more into into this with you guys. So if there's anything that you're hoping to see, drop a comment, let us know. Let us know if there's anything you wanna see coming up surrounding YouTube, like growing on YouTube, starting a YouTube channel, recording videos, writing outlines, filming videos, editing them, like basically the whole process. If there's anything you guys want, there's so many videos we could do on this. So be sure to let us know and I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you next week. Bye guys.